DFWIRadio.com. You know, we do our best here to make sure that we showcase new artists that are located right here in the DFW. And today is none other, uh, no different than any other. We have 22-year-old um, from Longview, Texas, Joy Miller, also known as Jay Fresh. Hey, He's up, live. It needs me. <laughs> How you doing, Jay Fresh? I'm doing good. How y'all doing? How we doing? I'm doing good. Did you yeah. find the place all right? Yeah, we found it. <laughs> But it's like, we, we found it and you were rushing me to get here. Listen, you know, I try to tell y'all. When, here's the thing, Jay. What's up? So my team, when you, you're, you're trying to grow and do more things, my team challenged me. Yeah. They saw, I, I was complaining about certain things, you know, they wasn't this, 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 that. Mm -hmm. And so my team said, well, I mean, if you did this, 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 yeah. that would help us. <laughs> and I said, okay. Hey. I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> You're right. And so, uh, we're on time today. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're on time today, Jay Fresh. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, you tell us, you told me that you started off as a rapper before you became a singer. Yes. Talk, tell me a little bit more about it. Well, it, like, really started when, um, I think around the age of six or seven, I used to, like, always watch uh, Lil Bow Wow back when he was, you know, hot. Little bow wow, yeah, you, you know, that's, 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 that's the song too. That's the song. I never had it. Listen, my, shout out to my sister who made me listen to Little Bow Wow. Oh uh, yeah. Over and over again. But anyway, <laughs> but uh, it started off as me listening uh, to him, and then on like my mom would be like, "Go ahead and do, go ahead and rap, go ahead and rap." And I'm like, oh. and then I'm like, "All right, so I do it, and I do his little Harlem Shake dance and all that other stuff." So can you still hit it? The Harlem Shake? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't do that thing for me, man. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know, probably. But that's that's how that started. Um, but as far as like a full blown type rapper, I ain't really just get into all that. Uh, but just in like covering them mm -hmm. and whatnot, that's how I did that. Listen, we now we've been playing. We played one of your fake YouTube videos earlier, up early. You are you do these mashups, yeah. and I mean, and you just. <laughs> Sing it. How do you decide which song that you want to cover? Uh, it really just go like I'll find a beat and then I'll listen to it and then I'll like, all right, let me try to chunk one song and then that song leads to another song and whatnot. It just basically comes off the top of the head and I'm like, all right, okay, okay, I like how it's going. So yeah, that's basically how I do that. Listen, now, now, you know, I, I gotta ask you, and because you wrote it in your bio, mm -hmm. I get to ask you. You tell us about you, you. You're very known for having a genetic disorder, albinism. It's, it, but listen, I think it's the cutest thing ever. Okay, oh, I when you. I looked and saw his picture, I was like, "Oh, he's cute with his <laughs> blonde hair." Like, <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> but I can imagine we live in a very identity pushed world. You know about how you look at things right. of this sort. How what, did you have any self confidence issues or anything yeah. of this sort? Let's talk about it. Coming up. Um, like around, this is a dope picture, by the way. Appreciate it. That was, like, <laughs> that was like my last project I did. Um, but coming up, it was pretty tough. Like in school, that's where it really just all started at. Um, you know, the whole bullying stage of people not knowing what albinism is, and you know, they're like, "Oh my god, like who is? What is he? Oh my god, I don't want to say about me. Oh, he looks like a monster or something like that." You know mm -hmm. all that. So I would take you know that to the heart because you know I was like a very social person. Like you know, I was a positive person. Um, and I would just want to make friends, and I'm like, why? Why are they talking? Like, why are they talking about me like that? Like, what? Mm -hmm. And me being so young, and that that struck a nerve for me. So it caused a lot of my insecurities and the whole anxiety and depression stuff coming out. And um, yeah, it was very challenging and whatnot. But then you know, over time, my mom would always talk to me, and she'd be like, you know, people gonna always talk, baby. So you know, let them talk. You know, this is just lack of knowledge. They don't know what albinism is. So when I tell them, they kind of Oh, so you are black. It's just you have this going. I'm like, yeah. So tell us about it. For for those who who, who don't know, tell. It's it's just um, genetic disorder and whatnot. Uh, back then, I used to say it was. I basically came out. I wasn't finished getting cooked in the stomach and whatnot. <laughs> so this is this, but it's it's just um, where you have lack of pigment in your skin and hair and all that. So that's why everything is basically gold or more of a pillar, uh, com uh, complexion and anything. So that's basically what it is. It's nothing like I'm. I'm just like everybody else, just with the skin. Listen, and you're a cutie. Uh, like, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. You're not. I'm about to get in trouble, man. What's up? Listen, nah, nah. Because I listen. I fight. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I fight. I fight. I'm here. You're like, not that I mean anything, but I'm not trying to 
you know, be suggestive or yeah. anything. I just was saying. Mm -hmm. But you know, I've had some people try to comfort me. You know, when you uh, compliment they, you, they significant other, they be thinking because I'm cute and whatnot. <laughs> Listen, my beat was extra good today, wasn't it? <laughs> I did good on my face today. The point is, that way. I just had to make sure. Okay? I got you. Now you straight. You good. Now, you so, in other news, that means you single. So, oh, yeah. all the ladies <laughs> out here, the put it on some video. Get sliding in the <laughs> yes, I'm single. I'm single. Listen, especially if you look like Nalani. Uh, because I heard he likes her. I need that space. <laughs> oh, wait. What? Wait, mm. wait. I should have uploaded a picture of her. Say first one back. What makes her bad? Her personality. Talk about that. I have to, because I'm like, I go into personality. He face. It's just, look. <laughs> His face is starting to color. <laughs> it's the first, like me, I'm very like, I'm very, uh, I'm very attached to personalities. Like her personality seems dope, chill, like down to earth, and it's like on a spiritual level. So I'm like, oh yeah, that really touched me right there. And then on top of that, she dances and she look good. So I'm like, yeah, she got that. So that's basically. Now you said your first official music video, um, it's a song titled "The Love Led You to Meet Bangladesh." Yes, yes. When I was with um, All Star, yeah. When I was with um, All Star Magazine, uh, it's like one of the biggest magazine companies mm -hmm. in uh, Dallas, um, you know, I was signed into them, well, man management-wise, and we went and go shot my video, and uh, my manager, Cornelius Beats, um, he had put me on with that and whatnot, he shot it to Bangladesh because he had an interview with them already, but, you know, he played my music in there, and Bangladesh was messing with it, and, you know, we had some, uh, re um, we arranged contract, uh, con my fault, contacts mm -hmm. uh, information, and, you know, it led to all of that good stuff. But he was really feeling it. I got the live footage on uh, my Facebook. I can um, pull it up whenever, you know, on y'all page. If I want to see it. See, the reaction was crazy because I didn't physically get to be in the room because we were, like, at the hotel waiting and uh -huh. whatnot. And he, uh, my manager didn't really know if it, uh, if it was cool if I would go, you know, because there was going on some other information, like, some other stuff. But it all it all played out well. Um, but, yeah, we was watching the live and whatnot. Like, oh, my God, bro, I almost teared up. But my mom... She teared up. Like, yeah, <laughs> it got like that. Oh, your mom, your mom from that generation. She, she, she that, she that, she that way, she that way. <laughs> she, she is a fan. <laughs> my baby, my, is this, is this, something like that. Yeah, some, she like that, but she kind of toned it down. But you know, Hello, it, 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 are, are you a crazy fan? Yeah. Are you um? Uh, are you a? A Usher mom, you know Usher Raymond's mom. I'm probably more like a Ray J's mom. Ah! She on the phone, you She's fine, you. What? Jesus, we ready for you to be on the reality TV show today. <laughs> 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 Listen, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you said what's just funny to me. You said you're really inspired by Chris Brown. And when I see your the, the visual from your last project, I see a very Chris influence. Why yeah. Chris Brown? Well, it really just goes off of, uh, I, I guess it really started with the dancing. Because I started off doing dancing before I did the singing part. Mm. Um, and I was like, oh, it's not me eating this. Okay, okay. So I started mimicking. I'm like, okay. And then the singing part just started happening over time when I used to have to perform at the Christmas parties and all that other stuff with my family. And uh, I was like, dang, I really got something. And my mom, she would say, dang, you really got something. And she said, you kind of sound like Chris Brown because, you know, you start mimicking somebody, then you start getting that sound like them. So I was like, okay, okay. So I'm really starting to see. I'm starting to get it. And after that, you know, I just started seeing his his progression over time, like him with the whole Rihanna situation and then the... Uh, like, just everything that fall in line with the whole bad, you know, and the good as well. Listen, now I have to be honest with you because Listen. you're a Chris Brown friend. You are, you, you're Team Breezy. I think that's team what they call it. Yeah, Breezy. yeah. Listen. Okay, so I just was kind of, I, I just couldn't get with the hype of Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. I'm a bitch, I'm, I'm honest, I'm bitch. Yeah, yeah. But then I watched the documentary on Netflix. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, Chris. <laughs> My sister took me to one of his concerts one time, and I was, he's a nice-looking guy. Mm -hmm. He was really tall. handsome. Listen. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Breezy, come, Breezy, too. come to the show. Anytime. Yeah. And we bought in the same month, too. Wait, wait. Was, yes, I, I was on like, May 3rd. I was on May 23rd. Ah! We in the middle of that way. That way. Listen, listen. 
saying he should be a Taurus, but anyway. But, at least, <laughs> but if he was a Taurus, we would be really crazy in here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to take a break, but we're going to play one of your tracks. Now, what, what, which ones we got in the system, Dan? We have Breathe. Breathe. You got to introduce the for us. What? Okay, Breathe is a track that I basically did a few months back. Uh, it got something to do with like my anxiety and depression. Uh, hopefully it touches y'all. I believe it will, though. So. Okay, so, let's pray, please, and then we'll talk about it after we hear it. Bad. Would you like some water in it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll get the little bit. I get the little bit. <laughs> so, which page do I go to? The, um, you said what's sweet? Which page do I go to? to the, go to... Um, Running fast from the way it was Jump quick to a paycheck Running back to the strip club I'm never going back, never going back No, you can't make me Never going back, never going back They never take me I bet it do I've had enough of shitty news Dirty shoes Since I was like 10, I like 30 women Ooh, ooh Better day than you And finally got some heels Hustlers on the block Go crazy when you lick your lips But they just want relations They don't want relationships Welcome to the real world Ain't the same Fellas old enough to be your daddy Know your name Everybody's talking about how much that girl done changed Can't quite put your finger on it But you feel a strange like it's fire in your veins But it's just your S-E-X Mama's secret And daddy's gonna go crazy When he finds out that his baby Found her S-E-X Take a deep breath And think before you let it go on dfwiradio.com we just got lit through listening to jay fresh's breathing i think on facebook you guys were watching one of his mashups that he does um on um youtube tell us you said breathe is about your battle with anxiety, anxiety. and depression and and different things tell us t tell us about that and yeah um the anxiety and depression basically came over time as well like i said before um with the whole bullying thing um, just me being like kind of soloed out. Um, like I mean, I had people to turn to, as in family and my mom, my immediate family. Um, but it was kind of hard, as in like friends, like because you know I'm not always around my mom or my family, and it's like all right, dang, you doing it all by yourself. So it's like dang, you you back soloed out, like from when you started that when nobody wanted to be your friend, when nobody wanted to talk to you, and all this other stuff due to the whole albinism thing. Um, but I'm. To this day, I'm still battling it, but it's not as worse now because of, you know, the love and support that I get from my fans and family and all the supporters and whatnot, and I'm starting to cope with it. You know, some things are just all in my head, and some you just can't you can't fix that. You can't help that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it is what it is. You said you're starting to cope. What are some of your coping mechanisms? Because we know there's a lot of people that deal with depression. Um, mm -hmm. One of the big celebrities 
that I know most of us follow is yeah. Michelle Williams from Destiny Child. She uh -huh. checked herself into rehab a few months ago for that she was actually depressed. She said she couldn't stop it. She doesn't know what she feel. I know I've had my own spats. How do you cope with depression? Um, music is a big uh, part in that. My music and then talking to like my close friends or somebody or my mom um, or drawing or sometimes dancing. Uh, but those are my main things. Or some, And then meditate. And meditate really goes a long way with it. Because a lot of people be feeling like you're wasting time. It's just like you're not, you're not taking everything in and actually doing what you need to do in order for it to work. So I'm like, you know, you got to be patient. And that's basically what mine is. What's the message that we'll get out of your music as we listen? Uh, that I'm human. And I, I'm positive. I mean, I got some songs that kind of sound like, mm, he a little man -ish. He a little muscular. <laughs> and all that. I'm like, I'm, I'm only human. So get you know out of here, my <laughs> statement. Get out of here. <laughs> but, but overall, you'll get a real, a real human, like a human feel. It's just me being a human. If you can relate to it, I'm glad you can relate to it. Because I want my music to be like that. But overall, it's something positive. Listen, and I, we love positivity. I think, think of this word. We got so much that's going on. Negative. Like, crazy. <laughs> it, 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 I mean, it's, you know, it's all kinds of stuff. It, it, especially just even with the pictures you post and things. Like, so, so we live yeah. in one of these worlds that if you got confidence, it's, it's real. It's really easy to get real insecure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, you said you've been singing and performing, I'm pretty sure, in the living room and, you know, for the audience and your mama. But how long have you been really taking your artistry serious? Uh, since 2012. That's when it really got like more on a professional uh, level. 2012, that's how you make your house? Uh, I'm like 16. 16 or 17. Yeah. 16, 17. So why you went in high school? I was in high school. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it just grew from there. That's when my mom was like, boy, you was in high school. You need to start uh, singing to these girls and when I did that, that's when everything really just started taking Mama, me. I'm about to listen. I'm about to make mama come <laughs> to the mic. Why are you telling them to sing to the woo the girl? You got to sing to the ladies. It's your fan base. <laughs> yeah, and it worked. It definitely worked. I started trending uh, in Cedar Hill. Uh, the Cedar Hill, they, they gave me the title of the Albino Chris Brown. Okay. And I started watching the reactions. Like, I started getting those reactions. Like, females would start crying when I started singing. And they'd give me a hug. I'm like, oh, my God, can I just give you a hug? When they started screaming, I was just like, like it's, it's really happening right now and it made me feel way more good about myself i mean i really do got something because if somebody can change you by the, you by your voice it's like it's it's a blessing it's a gift so i'm like i, I embrace all of that and i don't take it for granted yeah listen let me find out jay <laughs> fresh is singing and got these young girls out here crying <laughs> song that they liked and I hope that I executed it right and I, I believe I did and all of a sudden like I look around I see females going like this and I get to fix it like all this good stuff I'm like what's really going on and then they do all the whole ah, screaming like yes yes yeah all that good stuff and they pull out their phones and record and I'm just like like me and my homies they're just looking like I see you first I'm like yeah Okay. I mean, I, I love it though. I love it. Tell us about the name. You, you know, Jay Fresh. Yeah. Well, uh, we came up with that one in the middle of my living room. I was sixteen, and I was like, "Dang, I feel like I need to come up with a cool name." And I, the J actually stood for Joey, but then I was like, mm, "Joey Fresh, nah." So I was like, "J Fresh would be just just fresh. I'm just fresh. That's all it is." So I had to turn around with a little twist. Listen, yeah. I like it. I like it. Like now, outside of your music, what's your favorite song? Uh, as of right now, or just? So, I mean, just Perry. Uh, just Perry. Man, oh, dang, what? I don't even know. I got a bunch of songs that I like. It's kind of hard to just mark. Give me one. One? Um, dang. Hmm. One. It'll probably have to be a Chris Brown song. I'm going to probably have to go with... Uh, All back. It's off of his fame CD, I believe. Listen, he will pick a song that I did not know. You don't know that one? No. What? Dang. Yeah, What's it was the, off the fame. Oh, what? She said she didn't think it was My intern. My intern is behind. She was like, It's behind the camera going, What? I mean, I told you I just became a Breezy fan because I'm in Netflix and then chilling with myself. And let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, if I was sick people out. I love how she put that in there by myself. I mean.
I had to tell somebody the other day, nigga. Listen, I, I, that's how I cope, okay? I, I got put my two dogs in the bed and we watch Netflix. But there's some good stuff out there on Netflix. It, that's good TV. I want to interview the creators of Netflix because, like, to think of all of that, it... Anyway, that's crazy. I told y'all I just became a fan. How does how does back to back go? What's your say? Out back. Um, since you was single, I was single. I, no, I was just telling my mom. I was no. like, I ain't gonna be able to because I've been sick like oh, since yesterday. So, so I swear, like I love to sing. So like as in the last show that we did. So you know, so which means you are gonna come back? Come yeah, I'm definitely gonna you come gonna back. Come, we're gonna get that you in. You gonna get <clears throat> get right into that. Baby, baby. <laughs> all that look good. Yeah, you know what it is. You know what it is. You got to come back. The first thing I'm gonna do is be like. Did you see that meme that's going around? And it's not a meme, it's a video. That it's a guy in an interview, and they say, so do you, you know, do you freestyle? And, yeah. you say that, and he says, yeah, I do. So spit something for us. And he goes, uh. <laughs> nah, it's written in, dog. It's written in no freestyle, bro. <laughs> and, and she goes, would you like to read something for your book? So as soon as you get here, the next time, we're going to be like, mm-mm. Go and get straight to it. I'm like, I bet I'm gonna go right. I'm probably walking in the door singing or something. But yeah, you know I, mean? I definitely got y'all though. I definitely like. I look forward to that part of it because I know it, it comes with it. Back then, I used to be like scared to do it. I'd be like, mm, I'm kind of nervous on one too. But now, I just be like, Nah, I got this. I think I got this. And so, what would you tell other artists? Because there's a lot. Even though you're just 22, there's a lot of people that's coming up behind you that they desire that this is what they want to do. They wanna. Mm-hmm. Same. They want to be an artist. They they want to come to you know live with Miss T. They want to do what? What would you? What encouraging words would you give them? If you really have this talent, it's a gift. So don't you know? Don't uh, don't you don't don't take it for granted. And make sure you definitely use it to your full capacity because God gave it to you for a reason. You know you can either make a change or. You know, you can run from it. Don't be scared oh, of it. Oh, he saved. He said, because God gave it to you. you Whoa, know, I have to take you it to church for that one time. You know, when they come it up. Come but, yeah, you definitely want to take it. He's going to be watching Aretha Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do. You definitely got to You definitely got to embrace it. It's given to you for a reason, so take advantage while you can. Listen, now, we got one more track of yours. What, what, what's the next track we got there? Real Nigga Mix. Ooh. Oh, okay. Now, that's a different title. I mean, that's the that's the email version, but the name of it is called The Real on YouTube. Okay. Well, right. Yeah, but yeah, that's what it is. Okay, tell tell us about it. Because we're not, we're not, we're not already put it out there. It's, it's, on a, it's on a relationship-wise. It's basically saying that I'm a real person. Like, I'm a real dude. I'm, you know, down for you. You know, I'm a, I ain't going to sit here and baby. Like, I'm not going to sit here and do what a lot of guys do to... Keep the girl. You know, I'm going to keep it 100 with him. I'm going to keep it 50-50. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Play, play the track. And I got to get... You hold that phone. You're going to be right because I, I need to understand how these young men of the world think. I got I to gotta get into their brains. Okay, you know what I mean? They, they watch it. It's live with this T on DFWRadio.com. What's the name of the song? The Real. The Real. We about to play it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 J Fresh baby I don't know why why I feel this way Hot emotions seems to fade away I'm drifting in my feels babe tonight Cuz every time I see your face your face your face Reminds me that you're far away yeah. uh, That's why I say girl Love don't fade Start from the jump from the start. We cannot fight what we feel, it comes from within the heart. Hey, you're my buddy, my best friend, my yin. 
My girl, my baby, my friend Can get nothing or anything compare Okay. Oh, you gonna make sure you take remember to take the answer? Five, four, three, two, one. I can't stand my team. Live with Miss T. It's Thursday. You can catch Live with Miss T every Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time right here on DFWIRadio.com. You know we keep you hot. We got your love, life, and of course, you know, I can't forget about my celebrity news. Y'all thought I love the tea. I'm gonna I'm I'm sip on it. That's that good hot tea. Oh, 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 that way. <laughs> Had to put the hand up so you know it's right. <laughs> we got Jay Fresh live in the building with us. So, so. We've been playing some of his music online, and then we've also been, um, you know, sharing some of his YouTube videos and things of this sort. Now, first, before we continue on with this conversation, make sure you tell the people how to follow you. You can follow me on Instagram at JFresh Music. Uh, on the music part, do not put a C, put a K. I don't know, I guess I like that little swag to it. Yeah, what a little swag. Ah, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can reach me on Instagram, uh, YouTube at JFresh, um, Facebook at Joey Miller, or you can go like my like page. It's under JFresh as well. So yeah. Jay Fresh is in the building. Uh, Listen, now, before we go on with the interview, if you guys want to be in the studio just like Jay Fresh, make sure you email us live with Miss T at gmail.com. That's live with Miss T at gmail.com. We got a new system. So, how did you like how it? Was you, real, it's how like, have you liked your experience? I love far? the experience. I love it. He got the best me experience. He got the best experience. And you can get it too. Uh, we you know we're updating things. We are counting down to the four year anniversary of the show. And if people keep asking me, Tanisha, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? I, 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 you know what? I have no idea. If anybody would like to throw me a uh, 
and party. If y'all want to plan Please this show. Please come with the work up. <laughs> y'all want to plan that show and I'll just kind of show up and y'all got little surprises going on. I mean, you know, that would be great. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, you notice how she keep pointing at the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> You. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Fresh, the What's song, up? The Real. You said, oh, I hear what you said. You mm -hmm. said, I ain't been getting ready to be doing like all them other dudes yeah. and finish the sentence before the break. Basically, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat nothing. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm not going to like, like not saying I'm going to be like an ass or anything to you. I'm going to be the most uh, respected, respectable person to you. You know what I'm saying? Like you get treated like a queen when you act like a queen. I can't treat you like a queen if you ain't acting like one. Damn! Let me just kill that. I left it there. No. <laughs> you gotta leave. You, no, I, hey, it. hey, get up and leave it there again. Leave it there. <laughs> sit it there, right quick. No, nah, but it's it's just been like I, I can't sit here and sugarcoat too much. It's like if you're gonna keep a relationship, if you want it 100, you gotta be 100 with it. And I'm like not doing it for like no cockiness or nothing. It's just I seen a lot how dudes move now. Like they'll do everything they can to make this girl stay. That means they'll take away their self joy, like their happiness, just to please this person. I'm like, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna sacrifice stuff that makes me happy to make sure they're happy, but I'm not gonna sacrifice my whole self to make sure one person is happy because I'm changing myself for one person in that moment. That doesn't mean that that person's gonna be there, you know. After if we don't work out, I just change myself for no reason. But then again, you gotta look at it on the flip side though. It's like, if you change for the greater good. Then it's gonna be a great outcome. You're gonna you're molding the person that you're gonna be in the future. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I feel like on that. Listen, that was the wisest picture. His mom is an old school. Mm -hmm. She's like, that's my baby. I get that. I'm like, <laughs> she taught him way. Well. You, you got whoop yeah. in the grill, baby. Yeah, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't the bad one. Though. I wasn't the bad one. <laughs> She's like, you still got it. You, you got whoopings. <laughs> you, you want to know how you can tell when a child got whoopings when they talk like they got some sense. Beat your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Beat your kiss, you like for real. <laughs> oh, man, it works. Uh, we asked you a big question, um, it, because lots of times we, we can't go back. But you know, what what would you tell your younger self? I would tell my younger self to don't avoid the signs. Like the signs, if you see it, read it. Make sure you really take it in and run with it. You know, if something something like bad that you don't feel like you don't need, like you don't need to be around that, and you need to exit. You know, exit that, you know, because all you're doing is you're going to get yourself drained. You're going to drain all your energy staying around that thing that you don't need to stay around. And then make wiser choices. Okay. What you mean by wiser choices? Like, as in me, my biggest thing was putting my friends before my career. And that was a no-no because at the end of the day, they're not the ones chasing this. You know what I'm saying? They're not, they're not the one with the talent. To, I mean, not saying that they don't have a talent because I believe that everybody has a talent. You just got to find it. But... Like, um, me, I would be like, all right, I got to be here, and then I'll make up a lot so I don't have to be there just to kick it with my friends. And, like, you know, that's in here rooting me on. Like, yeah, yeah, bro, you can catch the next one or something like that. But me, now, like my mom said, I ain't got time to just be sitting here dilly dallying with my friends 24-7. I'm trying to make something out of myself and then prepare. Say, for instance, I do help decide I want a family. I want to make sure they're okay financially-wise and then, you know, when, when you trying to have family, Jay Fresh? No, no okay, no well, time I mean, you said it. I had saying. to make sure. Yeah, I, I had to check. Like, okay? probably, I said Because it. when you said it, Mama raised her eyebrow, okay? I, she wanted to know. She, so I had to ask for her. She can't be raising her eyebrows <laughs> like that. Because she be the main one, Jesus. So I'm like, oh, you got that girl. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I stay with brothers. <laughs> But nah, it's just, I know how she be, but you know, no time soon. I know I'm not ready for that. My mom's not ready for that. What's next in your music? Uh, I got an EP coming out. Okay. Uh, it We strive in the beginning of next year to mm -hmm. drop it, cool. but I will probably put a visual out before then and keep hitting y'all with these mashups and, you know, new materials. All right. Yeah. Give me your YouTube link once more time, because I know that's how they can see the mashups. Gotcha. My YouTube link is at jfresh. At jfresh and your Instagram, because everybody oh, yeah. on Insta. <laughs> Instagram at jfresh music. Don't forget the K instead of a C. At, music at, at jfresh music. And my Facebook, you can reach me at Joey Miller, or you can hit up jfresh on my like page. And, and if, if they want to book you, how they do that? 
uh, my website. You can go on the link in my bio on Instagram. Listen, well, thank you, Jay Fresh, for so much for going thank live you, with thank me. Thank you, I hope you had the best experience I definitely that there was. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I definitely did. Listen, it's live with Miss T on DFWIRadio.com. Thank you, Jay Fresh, so much for coming. You know we're getting ready to take a break, but when we come back, it's the time, the moment you guys asked me for. It's the time for Miss T Motivates, and you want to make sure that you listen to the motivational words. Like I said, it's... What what uh what did he say? Who is that? Donald Lawrence say, as I minister to you, I minister to myself. Girl. This then listen, the the I will tell you, Miss T motivates the motivational statement for this week. I had to get it myself first before I could give it to you. Tune in. <laughs> Just stay tuned. It's live with Miss T on DFWIRadio.com. We'll be back. <laughs> Yeah, I see this way.